In this short video, we'll demonstrate how to lay out and install an 8-foot wooden privacy fence. First, we had to take down several trees and clear out a lot of undergrowth. After tree removal was complete, we removed the stumps, located the utilities, and pulled the strings so that we could mark our post locations. Each post will be set using two 80 pound bags of concrete. We're using 10 foot 4x4 press retreated lumber for the posts. These will be set 8 foot on center with 2 foot in the ground. I use what's called a cripple to help set the posts. It's just a scrap 2x4 or 2x6 long enough to span across the hole. Attach 2 foot from the bottom of the post before dropping it down in the hole. This makes it much faster and much easier to set the posts. It also gives you a much more uniform post height for ground level. Be sure to pull a string from one end of your fence line to the other. This will help you keep each post in alignment with each other. The string represents the plane you are attempting to align the face of each one of your fence posts with. You want the face of every post to be aligned perfectly with that string. If done properly as we move left to right, you will notice how parallel the sides look and as we get directly behind this post, the rest of the posts virtually disappear and all you see is the one you're looking at. That's how you achieve the straightest fence possible. It doesn't look wavy as you look down the length of the fence. If you have to leave debris or holes open overnight, be sure to put some safety ribbon up. This will help prevent injury and the homeowner will appreciate you for it. Since this is an 8 foot privacy fence instead of a traditional 6 foot fence, we're going to be using 4 2x4 rails instead of the traditional 3. Sixteen foot two by four rails are used where possible to add stability. Eight foot rails are used where level changes occur. Once all of the rails are installed post to post, then we can move on to installing the fence boards. Here we're using a traditional six by three quarter by eight foot dog eared fence board. The fence boards are installed using 2 inch ring shanked galvanized nails. I use a string to keep the top of my fence boards uniform. Be sure to start installing your fence boards at one end of your fence and work your way one board at a time to the other end. Anytime there's a level change such as this or this, be sure to stop and reposition your string so that your fence contours to the ground. As I install each one of these fence boards, you'll see that I slowly bring the top of the fence board up to the string. I don't want to push the string up, I just want the bear to touch it. Then I push in tight to the board next to it and I place two nails in each of the four rails. I do this for every fence board. About every third or fourth board, I will stop and check the plumb. Be sure to do that. Some of these boards will be crowned, and you will either have to push in really tight to take a gap out, or you will actually sometimes have to create a slight gap to get back to plumb. When you've completed installing all of the fence boards on the face of the fence, take a fence board and rip it down so that you can cover the 4x4s and the 2x4s that are exposed on either end of the fence. This makes a much cleaner, more complete look. Be sure to do this for both ends of the fence. It looks much more professional. After you've capped off the ends, be sure to go back and level out any excess dirt left over from the holes. Be sure to clean up any debris still laying around. As you can see, I'm not quite finished. 
All right, I just finished. You can tell, it uh, looks pretty good. Follows right along with the contour of the ground like it should. Capped off the ends, both ends, so they look nice and finished. You're not looking at the end of the two bys and the four by fours. And, uh, all the way down there and looks good, looks real good. Sweet. I think she'll be happy. Later. After a few weeks, the fence has had time to dry out, and you can add a nice color stain to it if you like. In the end, you have a beautiful eight-foot privacy fence.